Hey guys, I'm on the road, so I'm not in my normal studio, so hopefully you can see me okay, but want to do a video if you are in the market for a heating and air system or you've already purchased one, but you are interested in possibly the Inflation Reduction Act. Maybe you've got to get some documentation put together for your tax professional and possibly getting one of the incentives or rebates that they have out there. We've done other videos talking about AHRI and their directory. If you don't know who they are, they're basically who certifies a lot of the equipment saying this is the rating it has. And in a lot of cases, you have to go to the HRI directory and get that certificate printed off. Now, if you have a good contractor, he will get that for you just by request. But if you're having trouble getting it, then you will be able to go to that website and track down your system and print off that certificate. But as we go down this road with the Inflation Reduction Act, there's gonna be more folks out there, including you, that are looking for the most efficient systems out there, that are looking for a place where you can just go right to that place and figure out right away what are some of the most efficient systems out there? And there is a place just like that. That place is called the CEE. It's the Consortium Energy Efficiency Organization. And their whole job is they set up tiers for these different heating and air systems, depending on where they fall and how efficient they are on their spectrum. And so I'm gonna put a link to their website down in the description below as well. But again, if you're looking for that most efficient system, you'll be able to go to this directory put in a little bit of information and figure out by downloading their list or going through the directory a way that you can figure out right away how efficient a system is and whether or not it's a good fit for what you're trying to do. There are systems out there, believe it or not, that are super efficient that are gonna save you money on your electric bill, but they're not Energy Star certified or on the list for the CEE directory. Definitely check that out before you spend the money. You'll be able to go to that website, look it over, and it's not just the directory at their website. They've got the charts set up showing you the different tiers, how these systems are ranking and so on. If you're like any of the customers that I've been helping on the new HVAC Guide website, which is a site where we help folks through the process of purchasing a heating and air system, a lot of folks are just trying to compare these systems just by going by the SEER or SEER 2 ratings. And in a lot of cases, that is not a good representation of comparing the systems. On average, you're gonna see an inverter system across the board draw less energy than a single stage or multi-stage system. They have more capability of being able to ramp up and down and obviously save you money. Now, before you click off of this and go to their directory, I just want to point out a couple more things. Just realize that it's not just heat pump systems or straight ACs that are showing up on this directory. They've got all kinds of categories, including boilers, of course, heat pumps and ACs, furnaces, ductless systems, and water heaters. This is a good place, whether you're in the market for any of those items, you'll be able to go to that website and look at those different directories, different tiers, and decide what makes the most sense for you. And the last thing I'll say, just as a tip or a bit of advice, I would do two things, and that is, number one, I would not take the contractor's word for it. Before you even sign the contract with a contractor, if you need a system that meets a certain tier, meets a certain requirement, a certain efficiency rating, then make sure you get the AHRI certificate in hand, make sure it's on the CE directory if you need it to be, and don't pull the trigger until you have all your ducks in a row. And then the second thing is, I would also verify with your tax professional, your CPA, whoever's going to be making sure you're getting the rebate or incentive that you're supposed to get, make sure that you talk to them first before you pull the trigger as well. There's a lot of vague information coming out right now. A lot of stuff with this Inflation Reduction Act that people are going to find out the hard way that not every state is the same either. Some of the states, when they got their money, they're putting it more towards these programs, some states other programs. Again, check with your tax professional. Don't pull the trigger until you know that everything is kosher. If you are expecting some sort of rebate at the end of all of this, I have heard a few horror stories, unfortunately unfortunately. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that helps. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.